Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan. And today we are here with our cop car because we have our bulletproof vest. We're gonna see what's inside of these bad boys. We're out here in the desert with our water jug and bulletproof vest. So we're going to take this and throw it on these water cooler water jugs. So the question is, will this thing break if it takes a bullet? When you get shot with the bulletproof vest, the bullet isn't going to go inside and get in, inside of you, but it's powerful enough that it can break your ribs or give you some major bruising. So let's see what the impact does to this water jug. What do you think, Lincoln? Do you think it's going to break it? I think that there's just gonna be like a little hole with a bit of water coming out. I don't think it's gonna completely destroy the water jug. This thing is strong. It is strong. So my guess is it's just gonna bounce off of it. It's not even gonna crack at all. So Sam, how far away do you think this shot is? I'm gonna guess 20 yards. 20 yards? Let's make it happen, buddy. It doesn't go all the way through, the hole does it, so it did stop the bullet. Oh, look at that, in the water jug. Oh it made a gosh. dent, but it didn't break through. Look at that. But we found the bullet. It's just sitting right there. It That's hit crazy. and it smashed, and it bounced straight back about 12 yards. That's impressive. But look at this hole first, and then look at that one. Like, that is so deep inside the water jug. I still am so surprised that it didn't actually break the water jug. Now, let's try doing it with just the water jug. Oh, and then let's see what it would look like without a bulletproof vest. Uh -huh. So I told one of my neighbors about this project that we were doing with the Bulletproof Vest and that I bought it on eBay. And so he said, I have one in my car that's five years old that I don't use anymore, do you want it? And so he just gave me this one. But the strange thing is, it's really light. I think it's to be worn underneath your, your uniform, but it just feels so light that I have a hard time believing that this is gonna be strong enough to stop a bullet. So we have another jug here. Let's see if the water tank can survive this bullet with this vest on. Check it out! Direct shot right there. And look at it, it's a big old hole. Oh. <laughs> My neighbor that's a sheriff had that vest. Didn't go through the vest, it's just a really hard impact. So here's the back plate that was in the back of the white vest, and here's the one that we shot. There's a hole right there, and the bullet is stuck down in there. So I made it through this initial fabric, but now it's stuck down in there. There's that one that's the front part. There's this one that's a, kind of the chest plate, but it's just one little extra pad that goes in the front. That's probably over your heart. Yeah, it just kind of goes right there. Protects you. It's an important place to have a little extra protection. It says that it was tested on a 357 mag and a 9mm, and it was effective at stopping that. So if you had a larger gun, like a rifle, then I would imagine this thing's not going to protect you. It could still go through that Kevlar material. So what happens when a bullet actually hits the vest is it hits one spot and then it disperses the energy very quickly among the whole area. So yes, you're going to get that initial blow on the other side from the bullet, but it disperses the energy enough that the bullet doesn't go through. To it. This one is made by Point Blank Body Armor. There's one, two, three. There's the three shots that we got on it. I don't feel any of the bullets. Oh no, there's one. <laughs> there's one of the bullets in it. This one is 100% DuPont Kevlar. DuPont is the only brand that makes Kevlar. They have two different versions of it. Yeah, this was able to stop a bullet, but yeah. I think it's gonna stop you from cutting it in half if the blade did stop. I don't know, man. If I can cut a jawbreaker in half, I think I can cut Kevlar in half. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even break it apart, it's so strong. Look at that, it's just layers of this Kevlar material. All those layers together provide enough protection. Okay, here's where the bullet hit. Feel it, Link. It didn't even get through the first layer of Kevlar. 
Wow. Even though you have all those layers of Kevlar, maybe, I don't know, it looks like 50, maybe 30, 30 to 50 layers of Kevlar, it yeah. doesn't even go through the first one. And honestly, it looks like the exact same thing. It doesn't look any thinner, it doesn't look any different. It doesn't say that it's official Kevlar, but it looks exactly like the Kevlar in there. Yeah. And it looks like it has the same number of layers. That's interesting. I would not have yeah. thought that because it was so light. I guess this one's just so much bigger, it covers more body area. So this was a successful experiment. Yeah. We were able to find two bulletproof vests. They look pretty similar. It may have just been the angle that that bullet hit on the jug and that's why it broke. And this one, we just hit in the right spots and it didn't break. But if I am a police officer or a SWAT team member or CIA or something, I'm gonna get the biggest vest that's gonna cover and have as much Kevlar as possible inside because yeah. it's gonna hurt no matter what, but I want it to hurt as little as possible. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to all those who suggested that we cut open a bulletproof vest, it was an adventure. It was an adventure, that was fun. I never thought we would shoot a bulletproof vest and I would ever see what the inside it looks like, but we learned something today. We're getting smarter, yeah. we're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody got hurt in the filming of this and we were very safe. <laughs>